We're good friends only. Okay, it's Sleeves. It's uh, Monastery. This is going to be on Crushing, and it's Part 3. Um, at the very beginning, in the first stage of Part 3 here, when Drake gets shot, uh, what you want to do is just just leave him there. Uh, you don't need to pick him up. You don't need to move him. He cannot get killed. So just leave him there. You're going to see Hush pick him up here and take him downstairs and do the waltz and all that stuff, but, I mean, really, there's no need. Your job in this section is to get rid of the NPCs that are in front of you. Just stay together on this section of the stairs. Uh, so that you're close for a revive, you're close for uh, helping somebody with a choker. Same principles as before. And really, just handle your business. Get rid of the NPCs that are in front of you. It's murder time, so get it on. Um, now, after this section, normally what players do is they'll go get weapons, they'll get grenades. Sometimes they'll get power weapons, drag them into the middle of the square. So you'll see a little bit of that here. But the next section, I'm going to kind of fast forward through it because it's it's something I would normally cut out, but I wanted you to see this and I want you to study what I'm doing here. Now, the other players, Destroyer and Hush, had pulled all the power weapons into the center. They had also pulled Drake down here, so you'll see me pick Drake up very briefly here. Well, why did I do that? I did that as a refresh of Drake, because if you leave him sitting there, he'll respawn back at the top of the stairs, and we all know it's real slow moving with Drake, so that's why I refreshed him, so that we wouldn't have to go get him again. Um, the other thing you see me doing is pressing triangle over and over again, uh, over the top of a lot of these weapons, especially the power weapons that are in the center. The reason why I was doing this is that we had this huge, long delay here where one of the players, I don't know if he was getting coffee, taking a phone call, ran down to the corner store, I don't know what the fuck was going on, but we had a huge delay here, and these power weapons were just sitting in the middle of the map, and that is a problem. Because once you pull a power weapon from its original location, and you place it somewhere else on the map, that power weapon will disappear if you don't touch it. So within two to three minutes, that power weapon will be gone. And so I was worried about that because we'd never played together and I wanted to make sure that we had all you know the proper weapons to deal with the RPG section. So that's why you see me kind of acting very strangely there and refreshing a lot of weapons. Okay, stage two here. The front left of the library there, this is where the first group of NPCs drops down. I've got to deal with about four or five guys. And my thinking in this section is let me just kind of help to, to really spearhead getting rid of uh, these NPCs and to the um, let me turn my camera around here to the right rear of where I am the second group will drop once the first group is eliminated and so you know like I said I'm, I'm participating quite a bit here uh, in order to get rid of some of these NPCs and my thinking here is that hey you know both those players have proven over the last two matches in, in Monastery that they're pretty good about killing people our NPCs so I'm gonna let them deal with that second group and instead of helping them what I'm gonna do is make sure I have my dragon uh, and also make sure that I, I refresh these weapons because they have not been touched since the last time I touched them and I don't want them disappearing when we need them most against the RPG guys. The other thing that I'm thinking about in this section here is that I want to set myself up with the dragon to be ready to shoot the first rocket guys as soon as they come out so that we can minimize the damage that happened to the statue in the square. So. Here, uh, you see us just, uh, you know, nothing's really planned here. We're just uh, improvising. We're riffing and just kind of, let's do it, you know, basically, with the people that are in front of us. And, uh, you know, we did pretty well and actually minimized a lot of hits on the statue, but you're going to see us fail horribly here uh, in a second, so we'll, we'll get into that. Um, now, mostly what I like to do is, is to roam around, you know, look out for RPG guys and snipe. Uh, but a lot of times I also like to use the Pack 80 okay, so here, uh, the first armored RPG guy came out, I saw him, uh, and I reacted to it by rushing him in order to pull him down from the front right of the library facade here. I was worried about him getting his second shot off, he had already gotten the first shot off, and so I had committed to getting in there and pulling him down when, at almost the same time, both players went down. Now, you can see me rush in here. Uh, most people might say, well, what the fuck are you doing, man? Why, why are you rushing in there, man? You're not going to survive. 
And eh, that might be true, but the other thing that's true is that, you know, the statue's going to take a shit ton of damage because I'm going to be by myself, and I'm going to get killed anyway, so why not get in there and at least try to revive somebody, and that's that's what I'm thinking at that point. Here on a reset, when you get reset and you lose all your power weapons in the middle and all that stuff, the priority is to get after the dragon. I'm sorry, get after the pack 80 And I want to use that weapon as a support weapon in order to relieve uh, the center square of... Uh, you know, regular RPG guys, and also to support my guys by getting rid of the snipers that are kind of annoying uh, while my guys are trying to deal with the other stuff that, that's happening there. So um, that's why you see me single shot it in a semi auto style. It's more accurate that way. Uh, you can also conserve bullets that way. So uh, here, let's put some grenades on these armored guys. Let's, you know, let's damage them. Uh, and there's the first rocket guy. And you see me kind of hang in there and just be really damaged and shoot anyway. And that's because sometimes you got to gamble that way, and you just got to put the guy down, which is what I was trying to do. So um, here, concerned about that rocket guy, which is why I moved forward. I don't know how SAS caught me right there, but both of these SAS got to go, so that's why I use a little bit of the Pack 80 on him. Now here, not enough time to set up on the Pack 80, and I took way too much damage to deal with him. But watch the action. Watch Hush go and hide. Watch Destroyer attract the attention, and then what does Hush do when he can? He makes the move as soon as possible to get in there for the revive, which which I always appreciate. Army of three here, I would not normally use it, but you know we needed to make sure that we got through this. So normally I would save it for the the rocket guys, but might as well use it at this point. Jumping on something to deal with the choker to arrest his movement and stop him and confuse him. That's that's a great technique that works well. Um, and here we've got Army of Threes kind of running. We're you know looking for the next. Uh, armored RPG guy to come out and we're just dealing with with the NPCs that are kind of rushing the square at the same time so um, army of three is beginning to get you know down there it's gonna be gone here pretty soon um, but you're gonna see how we can deal with those armored RPG guys without army of three um, so let, let's take a look at that here which is, is coming up so I'm just scrambling spinning my camera looking for those armored RPG guys and here he is a little bit of dragon shot right there on the head and then a little bit of pack 80 and that will kill him without army of three pretty good technique um, so spam that dragon uh, and gets a little bit of pack 80 on it uh, and you'll see him go down like you know like a sack of potatoes now the other ar armored RPG is behind me and watch this again one two sniper shots a little bit of pack 80 he's done no army of three and we still get rid of him quickly so imagine if you're using army of three how much quicker it's gonna happen and ideally what you want to do is save army of three for the first armored RPG guy and start that and as soon as the first person's army of three goes have the second person started to bridge army of three over all of the armored RPG guys to ensure that you get rid of them personally I don't like to use army of three on the pack 80 I like to save it for the armored uh, RPG guys now here they thought we were done they thought this oh man we're celebrating shooting our guns like we were on Syria and we're all done but uh, I think they were a little shocked that we had another section to deal with here and this is where things really get out of control so uh, let's take a look at, at you know what's happening here now what I had done previously was to grab a rocket and to bring it in and also have a little bit of that pack 80 left terrible rocket shot there but I think I got the grenade on him here and I do get a rocket shot now watch this next action I'm worried about the sniper and did not see the shield but look where I go for the revive I use my own player to block the shield shooting me so I can get the revive and it was just enough to, to get it done <laughs> and just enough uh, to keep us going and I gotta take a, a, a death for the team there and I, I don't mind doing that because again we're just trying to get through this um, now watch this I respawn on buddies watch this. this is another one of those situations here's the cluster we're done but what do I do immediate revive immediate revive okay now I take another death there but I don't mind taking that death there because again we keep it going so you know people say well should I get in there and revive should I not get in there and revive not all the time but most of the time I, I think that especially if you're close the priority should be revive the person okay otherwise you're not going to survive all right on the respawn here I know that the power weapons have all uh, regenerated on the map because we all died and failed uh, the only one that we got was the pack 80 that I brought in you'll see me get confused about that in a second but I knew that the RPG was over here and so I wanted to use that to help weaken up these semi bosses now no clear shot on the semi bosses because of their location here so I decided to, to use it on the armored RPG guy that's up in the balcony on the second level there in order to uh, get him uh, 
a lot of damage. And then the other thing I know is that the T-Bolt is up here, so why not grab the T-Bolt and bring that in and see if we can use that to help. Um, now watch the action here. With the T-Bolt and the Militia guy here, I'm thinking let's spam some grenades to put as much damage on him as possible. Um, so that's why you see three in a row. Now watch this. Here comes the cluster. There's a rocket. Okay, both players are down. We're in bad shape here. But again, immediate revive. Watch this throwback on the cluster. It's pretty good. There's a throwback. There's another rocket. How did I get out of that? I have no fucking idea how I got out of that. It's luck sometimes. Sometimes it's lag. But either way, I don't give a shit. I'm taking it. Okay, and you'd take it too, huh? <laughs> I know you would. Okay, here's where I get confused about the, the uh, Pack 8. I'm like, let me go get the Pack 80 again, man. But it's not there because I'd already grabbed it. And uh, I got a rocket guy bearing down on me. I got cluster moving into position. And, and he's facing me, so he's going to throw on me. Um, so I fire a grenade and move. Okay, stick and move. And watch this technique with the T-Bolt, what I'm doing here. I'm going to shoot him from one location here. And then sprint out. So stick and move. Because he'll throw on the last location where I was located. And that gives me a chance to get another clean, clear shot on his center mass. Um, he ends up uh, taking care of himself there. Um, come on, that was enjoyable. I like a good headshot on an armor guy. So do you. Um, last guy here. I know he's damaged, so that's why I'm kind of center mass just... You know, spamming him with the T-Bolt. There you have it. Um, was it pretty? No, not at all. Was it strategized and well executed? Not at all. Um, but we were, you know, good enough and scrambly enough to, to get it done. Um, and so there you have it. Completing Monastery, not the prettiest way of doing it. I'm hoping to get another commentary up that actually shows some of the techniques that I was talking about, uh, what you should do uh, in this match. So here when we look at the scoreboard, Hush has no star. In a second, when you see us in the lobby, he will have the star. Um, so I'd like to thank people for listening to this and all three commentaries putting up with my bullshit, um, you know, for this whole thing. And I'm hoping to grab some players from the Facebook group and, and get a proper monastery matchup so you guys can see um, how it looks when it's orchestrated and it's um, planned. So, all right, again, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one of these.